If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2022 or later lets you use the Upload and Review Bills feature to upload bills in a PDF or image format, which it attempts to match to existing bills. However, never upload bills containing sensitive information like credit card numbers, social security numbers, or health information. Also, ensure your QuickBooks user account is associated with an Intuit account to upload bills. The bills can be PDF files or JPEG, JPG, or PNG image files. However, if uploading PDF files, you can only upload one bill per page. To upload and review bills in QuickBooks Desktop Pro, select Vendors, Upload and Review Bills from the menu bar. If needed, then sign in using your Intuit account. After signing in, the Upload and Review Bills window appears. Your bill uploading options appear as buttons at the top of the window. To upload bill files from your computer, click the Browse to Upload button to launch an Open Files dialog box which you use to browse for and select the PDF or image files of the bills to upload. Then click the Open button in this dialog box to finish uploading them to QuickBooks. Alternatively, you can also connect Intuit to a Google Drive account to access uploaded receipts from Google Drive if desired. To connect Google Drive and Intuit, click the Upload from Google Drive button and then follow the sign-in instructions in the pop-up window that appears. Alternatively, you can create a custom email address in QuickBooks to which you can forward received bill emails. Bills sent to this custom email address then appear for review in the Upload and Review Bills window. To create the email address, click the Send Bills button to open a Create a Custom Email Address window, where you can then enter a custom name into the Enter a Custom Name field. Note that the email domain is at qbdesktopdocs.com. Also note that after creating the email address, you cannot change it. After entering the new custom email address name, click the Claim button. On the final screen, select the users allowed to forward email to this email address. Alternatively, to download a QuickBooks desktop mobile app that lets you link it to your company file, take a picture of a bill in the app, and then review it in QuickBooks Desktop, click the Snap on Mobile button. Then click the button for your desired mobile operating system to get the download link for the app for your mobile device. After uploading the bills, they are then processed by QuickBooks, which may take up to 15 minutes. A message box appears at the top of the Upload and Review Bills window to note this. You can click the Details link here to view the progress if desired, and then click the Close button in the window that opens to close it when finished. You can also click the Refresh button to refresh the list if needed. After processing, the bills then appear on the For Review tab. Information showing if there are matching bill transactions or not appears in the Match column for each bill on the For Review tab. If QuickBooks finds a matching bill transaction already entered in QuickBooks, it then lets you review the bill. To review the bills, click the Action drop-down at the bill's right end and select the Review command. If the bill is matched, then the match transaction appears in the new window that opens. If this is correct, click the Mark it as Reviewed button to attach the transaction to the bill. You can later review it on the Reviewed tab if desired. Then click OK in the message box that appears to tell you this. Alternatively, if this is an incorrect match, you can click the Remove Match button and then click the Remove button to confirm removing the match. The window should then close and return you to the Upload and Review Bills window. If QuickBooks cannot find a matching bill transaction already entered in QuickBooks, then you can either import the new data from the bill, delete the bill, or move it to the uploaded receipts managed in the Receipt Management window if needed.
To import the bill and create a new bill transaction, click the Action dropdown at the bill's right end and select the Import This Data command to import the bill's data as a new transaction in the Enter Bills window. Alternatively, to delete the imported bill if you uploaded the wrong file, click the Action dropdown at the bill's right end and select the Delete command. Then click the Yes button in the confirmation window that opens. Alternatively, to move the bill to the Receipt Management window if it is a receipt and not a bill, click the Action dropdown at the bill's right end and select the Move to Receipts command. Then click Yes in the Confirmation Prompt window to confirm the move, or click No to cancel the move. Managing receipts is discussed in a later lesson in this course titled Receipt Management. If needed, to perform batch actions on multiple uploaded bills on the For Review tab, check the checkbox to the left of the bills upon which to perform the same action. To select them all if needed, click the checkbox at the top of the column of checkboxes. Then click the Batch Action drop down above the list. Then select either Edit, Delete, or Move to Receipts. If you select Edit, then check the checkbox next to the bill field to change and use the adjacent dropdown to select the value to apply to the selected bills. Then click the Save button to save the changes or the Cancel button to cancel them. If you select the Delete command, then click the Yes button in the Confirmation Prompt window that opens to confirm the deletion, or click the No button to cancel the deletion. If you select the Move to Receipts command, click Yes in the Confirmation Prompt window to confirm the move, or click No to cancel the move. To view matched bills, click the Reviewed tab. Then click the View link to the right of the bill to view to open the transaction matched to the bill. In the transaction window that opens, you can then click the Attach File button in the main tab of the ribbon to open an Attachments window that shows its attachments. Select the bill in the Attachments window, and then click the Open button to view it. Alternatively, to detach it, click the Detach button. If you need to attach the file again, Click the Doc Center button to open the Select Doc Center dialog box. Check the check mark next to the bill file, and then click the Attach button. To close the attachments window, click the Done button. You can then save the transaction if needed, and then close the transaction window. Back in the Upload and Review Bills window, you can also manage which other users can upload bills and create matching transactions. First, ensure you have the desired permission settings for the user created as shown in the previous lesson titled 2.6, Setting Up Users. To upload bills and create matching transactions, the user should have access to all bank accounts and registers, checks, credit card charges and registers, customer and vendor centers, chart of accounts, class list, and edit and pay bills. To then add them in the Upload and Review Bills window, Click the Manage Users button, read about the permissions required, and then click the Give Access button in the window that opens. Then click the Add User button in the Intuit Account User Management window that opens. Then enter their email in the User's Email field in the Add User window that opens. Leave the Basic User choice selected. Then click the Add User button. They will then receive an email invitation at the email address you entered. They can accept the invitation and sign in with their Intuit ID to then have access to the bill uploading and reviewing features within QuickBooks Desktop when they use it later. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.